Hello, friends. How are you today? I thought it might be fun if we made um, Easter jelly beans. It's a little odd activity. You don't need much of anything at home. You just need some white paper or poster board, um, food coloring, and corn syrup. This is like corn syrup, doesn't make any difference. Um, then I try to push a little closer. Okay, so we're gonna make different colored jelly beans. And if you notice, all my food coloring matches the jelly beans. So there's purple, there's green, the green, there's blue, and there's pink. So these are more Easter color or um, neon colors you can buy in the store. But that's what jelly beans look like. So what I did is I had an old piece of poster board hanging around the classroom. So I'm gonna use that. If you have an old box, you can use a box. If you have a piece of white paper, you can use white paper. Don't have to be fussy with it, but we are gonna use our hands. So I have white here to wipe my hands after we're done. The first thing I wanna show you is I have four different size jelly beans. Four, one, two, three, four jelly beans, one, which is a small one, then a medium, that's two, then a large, that's three, and then an extra large, four. So we go from small to big, or from big to small. So we have four jelly beans, one, two, three, four four jelly beans, okay? And I cut them out, they're not the best looking jelly beans in the world and not all jelly beans look the same. So here's the small one. And the first thing we need to do is just take a little bit of the corn oil, which I put in a cup and pour it on the jelly bean. Okay, let's see if I can just hold it up. And we'll pour some on the jelly bean. This is very thick, okay? I think I probably poured way too much. The next thing we're gonna do is add a drop of food coloring. So let's start. Do you wanna do green or pink? Which one would you prefer to make the smallest jelly bean? You want to use pink? We'll start with pink. So you just take a drop of food coloring and you put it on the jelly bean. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's blending in. Now what you're going to do, my favorite part, this might not be yours, you're going to paint with it. Look, and you're going to paint like a finger paint. It's very sticky. And you're going to paint your whole jelly bean. Okay. So now we have, it's supposed to be pink. It is pinky. One small pink jelly bean. Now these have to dry overnight. But maybe I'll put it I'm going to put it near the window, see if, or the fan, see if it'll dry kind of quick so we can um, Okay, so that was one jelly bean. Let me just wipe my hands. This is very sticky, so if you don't want to use your hand, you can always use a paintbrush. Use a Q-tip, those are great because you can toss them in the trash. The next one we said was the medium jelly bean. 
So now we do the same thing again. We pour a little bit of this very thick and pour it on the jelly bean. And Miss Stacy was right. I think I'm going to need more than I took. And now we can choose colors again. Do you want blue or green? The green matches my shirt. Do you want to do the green? And we pour a couple of drops of the green food coloring on it. And once again, look at it. It's kind of cool, though. This makes it shiny. And you're going to paint and paint and paint all over it with the hands. So now we have a green color one and we have a pink jelly bean. I'm gonna just put this near the window so this might dry a minute. Okay. And once again, I'm gonna wipe my hands because it's sticky, very sticky. Okay, so that's one, two jelly beans we've done. So we said we had four, we've done two, so we have two left, one, two. We have the large and the extra large one left. We have two left, so. This is a little bit bigger, so we're going to need a little more of the corn oil, corn syrup, rather. Pour this on. Oh, look it. And now you get to choose another food color. Do you want blue or purple? So our last one was green. We have pink, then green. You want to let's try the blue. Let's see if this neon blue is different than the other blue food coloring. Ready? Now we're going to pour a couple of drops. One, two, three. Oh, this is pretty. Look at that blue. And once again, use your hands and paint the jelly bean. And I guess I'm missing because I'm getting big blots of color on this. And that's probably because I'm not putting it right on the syrup. So here's the neon blue. Okay. And here's your blue jelly bean. Again, I'm going to put this near the window to see if we can... Let it dry quick, quick. I don't think it's going to work, but. And last but not least, so we've done a pink one, a blue one, a green one. So we've done three jelly beans. We said we had four, so we have one jelly bean left. And we did a small one, a medium a large one. This is our extra large king size jelly bean. Well, this is probably going to need a little bit more corn syrup, but this is fun. You can do this with your family, your brothers, your sisters, mom, dad. It's beautiful out. Take it outside. And who cares if your hands get dirty? You can just wash them off. It comes right off. Whoa. If you hold the cup upside down, look at how much it's actually coming out, even though the cup looks like it's empty. So, whoa. And we only have one color left because our first one was pink, then we used green, then we used blue. So our last color, which is left is purple, which is actually one of my favorite colors. We're gonna put a couple of 
probably like five drops of purple. One, two, three, four. I'm trying to make sure I get it on the oil this time. Five. So we have five drops of purple. And once again, I'm going to take my hand and we're going to rub it all around and finger paint. Now, those of you guys that are in my class, you know I love messy projects. We don't do too, too many on the computer, but I like to make slime and we like to make Play-Doh and we like to use shaving cream. And I normally would be doing glitter, which is my absolute favorite, but it's a little hard. Okay, so now we have the purple jelly bean. So let's see, we talked about doing how many jelly beans? We said four, so let me see. So we started off with the small one and we did pink. So there's one. Then we did the medium one, which was green. That's two. We did the blue one, which was the large. That's three. And we just did the purple, which is the extra large. And that's four. So we have four jelly beans and it's kind of hot, I can't. But here's the small one and the large one, look at the difference, okay? And then you allow these to dry, okay, overnight. And then you take a marker and you can draw things or write things on it. So I hope you enjoy this kind of a fun, easy craft you can do at home. And hopefully you have most of this stuff at home, food coloring and the um, corn syrup. And like I said, you can use paper, you can use a box, you can use, um, uh, what do you, um, paper, a box, oh, um, instruction paper, cardboard, anything. And then they'll dry when they dry, they'll be nice and shiny. So until next time, hope you enjoyed it. And maybe you'll try it at home and happy jelly bean. See which flavor you like. You buy them at the store and try them. There's lots of flavors. Have a great day.